<clears throat> this is Tommy Watt for TT Boxing in association with IFL TV. I'm joined by Dara Super Foley here in Punchbowl, Sydney. Just in TJ De Haney pick up a, uh, a KO win um, here in uh, in Sydney. What, uh, what are your thoughts on that fight, first of all? Yeah, it was. Um, I was actually chatting to someone where. where I understand you were. I think I might miss the moment myself as well. Yeah, 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 yeah but I, I think it was a body shot, and then um, it looked like Dira got hit. <laughs> didn't well, he's, he's, he's beside us here, it, it, yeah. It looks like good. he didn't want to be in there after that, so. Yeah, yeah, well, obviously for the power of TJ. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it was a warm-up fight, if anything, for TJ, really. His he's, uh, focus is clearly on if that IBF eliminator yeah, or world title shot. He's in one corner um, for the IBF eliminator, so this was just kind of shaking off a bit of ring rust, I guess. And moving on, he picked up the stoppage, no damage. I don't even think he got hit, so he be good to go against. Yeah, so. very easy night, and so it was just good for everyone in Sydney to see TJ again after a few fights. Yeah. Over in the States. Um, so moving uh, moving away from tonight, oh, actually staying on tonight, um, another one of your stable mates, Alessio, had a, a very close fight earlier on and Tony wasn't massively happy with the decision and, and probably fair enough. Um, do you think that he'll be looking for a rematch, Tony? Hopefully, hopefully. Um, I didn't. I only caught the last round, I was stuck in traffic, but from what I heard it was a, a very close fight and I think that's the second time it's happened to Alessio, which is, it's sad, you know, but sometimes the judges, man, honestly, I don't know what the judges do. Yeah, do I mean, um, you know? like, I know I've seen both of Alessio's fights, and I think the first one was very, very tight, and yeah. it was hard to argue either way. But tonight, I just couldn't make an argument for him losing that fight, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, so obviously, he got dropped in the third, but he dropped the other guy heavily in the second. He dropped the guy in the first, and he didn't get counted as a knockdown. I think there will be uh, some words to be spoken with, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing Tony's thoughts on it. But focus on yourself. What's yeah. uh, what's the latest with you? When are we going to see you back out in action? Three weeks time. Um, three weeks time exactly from tonight in Hortsville. I'm fighting uh, Jay Lepare. He's ranked number 12 with the WBA. So um, it should be a good fight. You know, he's very experienced. He's only lost twice. Uh, both of them have been in world title challenges. So, you know, he's he's, um, he's experienced. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing, seeing um, how, how my skills go against his, you know. Yeah, and, and so last time we spoke, or one of the few times we spoke recently, you mentioned that you're only interested in fighting guys with those rankings yeah. that can help you move forward. So this is yeah. another step in that direction. And um, and yeah, so how much do you know about this fight? Have you seen many clips of him online? The only two fights I could see was his two losses um, against Uchiyama and Perez. It's hard to, to take much from that because obviously they were two world champions at a very really high level. But um, I, I, I picked up some some you know, some, some weaknesses I've seen in them and I'm sure I'm going to exploit them in uh, three weeks time. Excellent, so there's been some fantastic fights recently here in Australia. One person that we've spoken about a little bit in our interviews and I know you uh, have some thoughts on, uh, Cambosis Vivala over in um, over in Melbourne recently. Uh, what were your thoughts on that fight? Because I know we spoke about a lot in the lead up to it. Uh, Cambosis Vivala, uh, how do you think about that fight and, and uh, how interesting that sort of leaves those two? Next. We'll move on. I'm, I'm we'll sick of I don't, I don't even care. I, I, I Alright, we'll move on. So away from, uh, so after your next fight, so you can come through unscathed and pick up another victory, pick up that WBA ranking, what's next? Anyone above me. Anyone above me in their rankings. Um, WBA, Oceania, they don't seem to be backing up what they're saying, you know. I'm the only one fighting decent opposition in these rankings and I'm the only one staying at number 15, so... I don't know, maybe something's happening behind the scenes that, that I'm being held back on purpose or maybe they favour guys in the top five that are also based in Australia. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, when I beat the number 12 in three weeks' time, after 12 weeks beforehand, beating the WBC U World Champion, and if they still keep me at 15, then, then there's going to then there's gonna be issues, but... There's stuff going on behind the scenes, but I, I don't know. All I, I can't focus on rankings. I just focus on fighting the best guys above me. That's all I can do. That's so it. You keep winning, and I uh, keep winning, and it has to. They can't keep you down. Exactly, exactly. 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 Look, I just saw TJ and the team walk past, and Akeen's going to celebrate with the boys. So I'll let you go. Definitely. Thanks as always for your time, Darren. We'll catch up with you very soon. No worries, Tommy. Thank you. Cheers, mate.